Dr. Tirthankar Patnaik is Director and Strategist, Institutional Research at Relegar Capital Markets. He joins me uh, straight away. Uh, uh, Dr. Patnaik, thanks very much for your time. I just want to start with uh, the IIP numbers uh, first off. What did you make of them? Good afternoon. Hi. Well, they were considerably higher than our numbers. We were estimating uh, slightly lower than the consensus numbers that you just pointed out, Prashant. Uh, we were looking at about 1.9 percent and uh, the numbers at 6.8 percent are clearly much higher. One has to essentially look at uh, what essentially led to that uh, spike in IIP numbers. So uh, essentially consumer non-durables was where uh, we saw growth of 42 percent and uh, you know that's where the numbers led to such a big uh, difference from our numbers. And uh, especially in consumer non-durables which has a weight of about 21 percent in the, in the overall basket numbers of 42% are clearly much higher than expectations. Uh, you know, if, if one looks at uh, just the broad FMCG coverage, uh, Relica coverage uh, is about 200 odd stocks. If you look at uh, the FMCG coverage, we were looking at sales growth of what 20% for third quarter and of which volume growth was about 12 odd percent, the rest coming from pricing. So clearly 12% uh, volume growth versus 42% is in what we have seen in, uh, in the IIP numbers are, are you know, you know, quite a spike. December, this very index grew only about 13%, which was much more in line with what our uh, you know, uh, corporate coverage shows. So clearly a big surprise there, which led to manufacturing coming in at roughly 8.5% and, .5 and uh, you know, led to the overall number rising to about 6.8%. Mm. But do you buy these numbers is the important question. I mean, uh, would, would you consider these reliable? I just answered your question, didn't I? Okay, all right. So, obviously, the obviously. The overall trend uh, over the last uh, 14, 15 months, Prashant, has been of. So, what I'm saying is that the overall trend over the last 14, 15 months uh, in the IIP has been on a downward trend. So, we've seen IIP numbers coming in generally, you know, three month averages coming in down from 13% to about 1.92% now. This has sort of corresponded with economic growth coming down from 8.5% to what 6.5% is what we are expecting this year. So uh, this spike, uh, something akin to what we saw in November is also, you know, these are numbers that the market will start disregarding and I guess that's what we saw uh, in, the, in the market sell off as soon as the numbers came in. If you just take out consumer non-durables, growth comes down from 6.8% 6, 6 positive to 1.2% negative for uh, January 2012. So. The NDTV news app had redefined the entire genre. Now, another market beater. It's already hit number one. NDTV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news, and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now, ndtvprofit.com slash apps.